after we took the wall down that separated the living room from the kids room we noticed that this was leaning out a whole lot you could actually see daylight through here so it's getting tight up against the bottom but loose up against the top so what i've got to do is go out and adjust the height of this slide so that it drops it down and we get a flush fit up against the side of this what we've got here is your height adjustment bolt this is going to put pressure holds up this bracket that is attached to the outer edge of the slide so what we're going to be doing is loosening this bolt so that it drops this down but in order for that to work we've got to loosen these two bolts on each on each one of these rails because this is how it slides up and down up and down this is how you adjust the height i don't know if you can see that but there's a little channel for these bolts to slide in right there on that bracket Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is loosen these four bolts so that we can just make micro adjustments to these two bolts and drop the outside down. Now that we've done that, we can just, hopefully this isn't too rusted. Can you see it moving? Put the camera right there so you could see it. And we want to go about the same number of turns on the other side so we can come down evenly. go inside and check the check it and tell me when it's flush up against the wall wow that already looks much better yeah i think we're good once you have the slide tilted the way that you need it go ahead and tighten these bolts back up on the top and then readjust your your bolt here that makes sure that it maintains that height We're gonna run this up so that it makes contact with that bracket. And then we're gonna tighten down our lock nut to make sure that it stays there. If you found this video helpful, you may also want to check out our other RV related videos like replacing a broken water pump or repairing our black tank. Go ahead, hit subscribe as it's inevitable that we'll face more RV maintenance opportunities in the coming weeks and months as we live full time in a fifth wheel with our family of eight and three pets. Thanks for watching and don't forget the journey is often hard, but it's worth it.